Hey there, comic book fans. I'm back from the comic shop again this week. And it was a slow week at the comic shop for me. Only three comics. I almost bought... I almost bought a fourth comic. I almost bought Detective Comics Annual 2, whatever it was that's out. I don't know why, I was just looking through all the comics. And I suddenly got nostalgic for, you know, a kind of done-in-one Batman so story. Which I assume Detective Comics Annual is. I don't even know if it could be continued in somewhere else. But uh, I was looking through it going, ah, oh, I should get a Detective Comics Annual. But in the end, $5 was just too much for an um, impulse purchase. And it was funny because $5 actually seemed cheap compared to so many other comics that are out there now. I was looking at... Um, because, you know, Detective Comics Annual is a double-sized comic for $5. I was looking at Star Wars 108, which they must have put out to keep the copyright on some of those characters. Uh, like, uh, who the, 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 the Green Rabbit was in it, too. And I guess they... But it was, like, that was $6. And I just happened to pick up uh, whatever that Superman Leviathan Annual was. That was $10. I'm like, wow, $5 was seeming cheap compared to some of these things. But I ended up not getting it. Just got the three comics that are on my pull list. And the Comic Shop News. Which has got Kanto. It's got a front and back Kanto cover. Who the heck is Kanto? I have no idea. Let's open it up and see. Meet Kanto, the well-versed hero. I don't know. Who's Kanto from? Uh, so... Uh, Pantis has a share of selfless heroes, from Arthur to Frodo. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Kanto is a brand new, all-ages fantasy adventure about a little tin hero in search of a heart. I guess it's one of those um, that everybody's doing now because they're making those, those YA graphic novels because some of them sell a million copies, so everybody wants in on it. I don't blame them. Uh, Kanto number one from IDW. I guess it's a regular comic, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a YA regular comic, because, uh, oh, there's a couple of, looks like, uh, YA. Da, 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 da. No, I was just looking at, uh, just see, hearing some YA news that, on Twitter or something, that was like, you know, some, I, I don't even remember who the woman was, the cartoonist, who signed a three-book deal for, what did they say it was, six figures. And I'm like, you know, that could be a good deal. That could be a, not a good deal because they said if the six figures is a hundred grand, um, that's not really that good a deal because she signed the deal for three graphic novels, one a year. So, you know, and it's going to take one single person a whole year to make a, their own graphic novel. So if it's only a hundred grand, that's like you know what is that thirty three grand a year? That's hardly a big deal. I mean I don't know if it admit if it's six figures and it's five hundred thousand. Woohoo! That's a big deal. But I was just reading like without the number, that that leaves a you know a lot of wiggle room there for it being a big deal and it being not a big deal. Oh check out those statues. We got the vision. And Supergirl, pretty neat. I guess we got lots of products in this one. Um, Joker series, conversations with Larry Ham. What's that? Batman: The Golden Age Omnibus, Volume Seven. Wow, seven omnibuses. They, they messed. Them. They made a lot of Batman comics in the Golden Age. Okay, always fun. I'll look through this. Now let's see what comics I got. And this is why I almost spent uh, that $5 on, even though it was too much just for, well, it's, it's the reason why I almost spent the extra $5 and why I didn't spend the extra $5 is because two of my three comics are dollar comics. Marvel's Greatest Creators, Spider-Man, Craven's Last Hunt. You know, I reread this whole story, I don't know, must be four years ago now, and it held up pretty well. I think I got... Um, I think I do. I still have it. I, I got a hardcover of it uh, when they uh, one of the Marvel premiere hardcovers where uh, they put out the whole story and and a little hardcover, not a big one, just a regular size hardcover. 
and it held up pretty well. But you know, what the heck, man? Dematius, Mike Zek, Bob McLeod. What the heck? Oh, there. You can get it. Uh, there's Web of Spider-Man number 31. Beginning this issue, a special six-part saga. I actually bought this off the stands. Sold my original copies, though. But for a dollar, I'll, I'll, I'll read it again. What the heck? Nice splash page. Mike, Mike Zek was was a pretty good artist in the 80s. I don't, I don't. He was solid. I read his Captain America run. I remember, but I don't, I don't. He almost that, that Punisher miniseries of his could have been an evergreen, except he was late with the last issue, so they had someone else do the last issue. That that original Punisher one through five series that uh, was his first solo stories. They they dropped the ball on that. That was that was in the day and age where if something was late, they got someone else to fill in. They got someone else. They got a they got someone else to fill in on the fifth issue of a five issue miniseries. Baffling. The other one I got, Marvel's Greatest Creators, Ron Mars and Ron Lim. Silver Surfer. What is this one? Rude Awakening. An Infinity Gauntlet crossover. I guess this has something to do with the... Uh, it's Silver Surfer 51. Boy, Galactus is looking a little simmy in there, isn't he? He's got an ape-like quality to him. Uh, never read this. Never read any of this. Is 90s Silver Surfer, I think, or late 80s? Can't remember. Let's see if it's got a 1991. So I could have worked on this Silver Surfer in the production department. Oh, yeah, I remember it coming. I just, I just never really read much of this. So I mean, I only read the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, three parts of it for the first time in these True Believers editions. So uh, it's it. It's new to me. And I'm actually enjoying re It's like, um, what did I really enjoy? I read um, the What If Spider-Girl, the first appearance of Spider-Girl. That was really well done. That was um, Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends. Uh, and wow, I, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I don't know if I ever read it before. Uh, I actually have some original Spider-Girl art, some, uh, some of the breakdowns for it. I think I showed it in another video years ago. But I thought that was a really really well done book. Um, just solid story of the first Spider Girl. Appeared in a what if. And let's see, the last comic I got was Peter Cannon Thunderbolt, number four. Got the first, number five. I got the first four issues of these a few weeks ago. Don't want to spoil anything for myself. We'll see what, what, what alternate world he goes into in this one. Well, the one thing I have to see that I'm disappointed these are thin. I mean, I the first four issues. This one feels about as thin. The first four issues when I got them, I was like, "Wow, these are." They feel like you know Marvel comics thin. They are actually they 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 feel thinner than than these even than the than the Marvel's greatest creators did. But I'm like, this is. I wish it were thicker. I wish it had better some more cover. Anything that maybe maybe it's the um 24 bit it could be it's either really thin or it's the 24 page uh package here instead of 32 um because that's what they do the um uh all comic like all marvel and comics have 20 pages in them but they're 32 page issues they have 12 pages of ads and letters pages or something but some like um i know invincible did it at the end which had like 20 or 22 pages but it was they they put it in a twenty four page package and you just didn't get any ads or um, letters pages or anything. But it makes the comic a lot thinner. So uh, and I'm not quite is that is, that, is he supposed to be like Doctor St the colors remind me of Doctor Strange but nothing else really does. So I don't know what this cover is supposed to be. I wonder if it says anything about the cover in it. Du -du -du -du, cover A, cover B, cover C. That's all it says. So there's three different covers. But um, this is one I read digitally first and then went out and got to have them order me the issues, which they could order me all the issues at Diamond, so that was easy enough. My uh, local comic shop. So check out Peter Cannon Thunderbolt. Good stuff. And let's see. Now we'll give you a little look at our artwork. Well, we did. This is what I did with my Memorial Day weekend. Besides Sunday, I went down to Long Island on Sunday. Oh, by the way, this is the first time I've driven down to Long Island in a couple of years and... The Cross Bronx Expressway 
it has always been a hellish road. And I must say, in the last couple of years, they repaved it, and it wasn't so bad. Um, it, it, some pretty smooth pavement for the first time in the, I don't know, 10 years that I've been driving it, uh, the Cross Bronx Expressway, because uh, um, it's you. it was always full of potholes and patches, and, ooh, and I actually had a nice smooth ride on the way back. It was uh, nice. This... This one's named Big Snap. So I guess that's the character's name. There he is. Black and white ink. Crazy outfit. This was mostly done with my side of the brush technique. A little bit of um, straight edge and marker. You can see that. Some, some of the, the rough lines of the brush and the straight lines of the marker. I like the way that one came out. And for some reason, I like the name of this one too. I don't know, you know, I name things almost randomly a lot of the times. I, I look at the stuff and name name it with whatever comes into my head. And I also learn to name things just so I can distinguish one from the other. You know, when you when I, this is my, I don't know, 30th big drawing like this, so I just can't call it that one with the guy. So this one got main, named Big Snap, and hey, I like him. Big Snap's kind of cool. I'd, I'd hang out with a guy named Big Snap. Why not? But uh, yeah, there's a little bit. Of, I've also been doing uh, uh, a bit of, I have to post some more, some more um, Sharpie uh, live ASMR drawings. So look for some of those. I've been posting some of my ones of those that are uh, cards, that are my art cards, but... Got some Sharpie ones coming, so look out for those. All right, there are the comics I got this week, and you guys all have a good week out there.